Today we're gonna dive deep into this transformative, powerful project. Creating your own prayer board, yup. Welcome back, it's your girl Vanessa Elaine, and if you are new to my channel, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today, we're gonna to be diving deep into the importance of creating a prayer board and why you should opt out of creating just a vision board. I opted out of doing a usual vision board this year and I created my own prayer board. Because we all know prayer is so powerful and that is our connection to God. That's, our, like, that's like having his direct cell phone number, okay? Prayer. And if you are expecting some big things to happen for you in 2024, you have to implement prayer in your daily activities. I'm going to teach you how to create your own prayer board. Everything you'll need right here. This is going to be the only video that you need to watch accomplish creating your own prayer board. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's get into it. This is my prayer board. It's simple and it's cute just like me. Well, I take that back because I'm not that simple. But I like to keep it simple, but you can decorate it however you want because this is your prayer board. So let's get into what you will actually need. The first thing that you will actually need is a clear head. Okay, before you create this prayer board, I don't want any doubt any doubt to be on your mind because if you go into this with doubt you might as well just throw the whole board away honestly and truly we're not doubting god in this season you have to really move by faith if you start to do this with a mindset where you're not believing in god for real or you don't think these things can happen for you that that energy is going to transfer here and that's not you really moving by faith. That's not really you believing in God for what you're actually writing down. Because you might do the activity, you might finish the board, but will you actually do the work that is needed of you for this to come to pass? No, because you don't really think it will happen for you. You don't really believe that this can happen for you. So the first thing that you will need is a sound mind. And how do you get a sound mind? reading your word and definitely pray before anything before you start creating your prayer board i want you to go into prayer and deep communication with god and when i say deep communication i want you to spend some quiet time with god because it, there's probably going to be something specific god wants you to focus on when it comes to your prayer life and i want you to implement all of that on here so this is very personal to you, very personal. This is not just about your dreams coming true or manifesting your goals, no. And you know you can't manifest anything without God. You know, they, you know those people, they try to take God out of everything, but God is everything, okay? And if you try to do anything outside of God, it just ain't gonna last and it's not gonna be the same, period. Anyways, so now that we got your mind clear, you already prayed, you already spent quiet time with God. Now let's get into everything that you would need to make this possible. So I'm gonna look at my phone because I wrote notes so I won't forget anything and I don't miss out on anything. So that's why I have my phone out. Okay, so the first things first. I don't want you spending money that you don't have to spend or going out of your way when you don't have to. Remember, what actually goes on those note cards is what's important, which is your prayer, okay? So I don't want you to overthink it. I don't want you to spend money that you may not have right now. Or if you're on a budget, listen, we can work with the budget, okay? You can either, I bought this board from Target. It was like, um, it was less than 15 bucks. And it's not that big, as you can see, like my, I can hug it. So it's like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know the measurement. Okay, well, let me see if the measurements are on the back of this. It is not, it's not on here. Let me check my Target app. So I'll link 
everything that I have um, that is linkable, some things I already had around my house. Like these envelopes, I already had that in my possession. So I didn't spend money there. The only thing I actually went and bought was this board and like these letters that I actually got from Target. Everything else I had at home. So what you would need is an actual board or you can also use a regular poster board that you can get from the dollar store. Well, the dollar 25 store, you know. So you can use a poster board. You don't have to get this this actual board if you can't if you're not able to right now. It's okay. You can do it on a regular poster board and dress it up, okay? Use what you have. Then you can the another thing that you will need are envelopes. The reason why I opted into doing envelopes because you can either just post the note cards, but I feel like these prayers are very specific, very specific. You know, when you're writing down your prayers, be very specific, be very detailed. And I don't want, if someone happens to see it, I'm going to tell you where to put it too. But if someone happens to see it, it's not out and open. Because you know, where, when the Bible talks about not praying out loud in front of people just to be seen so I want my prayers to be covered these are my letters to God so and I and I titled each one something very specific and I put in the actual note card that I'm actually praying for a specific topic or specific person so not only do you need envelopes you need markers pens note cards thumbtacks to actually pin them to the board and if you're using a poster board, you can um, get the, not the wet glue, but the glue sticks. That's also at the dollar store. And you can use tape. So that's pretty good. But I opted out and getting thumbtack. I put this balloon here because it, to me, it signifies, it's, I wrote hope in permanent marker. And what this signifies, you know, when you blow up a balloon, the hope, the word that I wrote gets bigger. That's what I'm leaning on, hope. This is my this is what I'm hopeful for. So that's why I put this here. This is like a little decoration, but it means so much to me. So adding little sentimental things like that to your board, making it very personal, very meaningful to you. Only you know what you're going to be praying about. You know what you're expecting from God. So make this very personal. This is about you and God only, not about anybody else. And of course, you're going to be praying not only for you, but for people in your life. So I have family. I have friendships. I even have, what else? Prayer requests. So if someone has a prayer request, because I do, I'm when I'm on live on TikTok, someone asks me to pray for them, I'll put them in my prayer request. And I'll leave it there because I'm expecting for something to happen. I'm expecting that what I'm praying for um, and interceding for that other person that is going to kind of pass. So I want to remember because I'm once that prayer is answered, because I always tell people when I pray for you, make sure you bring back the testimony. I want to hear it because I want to be encouraged too. And I'm going to put it here in my answered prayers. So I have that at the bottom because I did run out of space. But I'm glad it's at the bottom because this is the very last thing because I am expecting God to answer every prayer that I have put in each envelope so let's get into let me make sure so note cards and any other decorations that you may want is up to your preference like I said and you have to add scripture so writing down a list of scriptures that matches each category that you're gonna be writing on the envelopes or whatever category that you're going to create so like for instance you can't see let me make sure y'all can see like for instance, this says healing and I wrote a scripture that has to do with healing. This says marriage and I wrote a scripture that has to do with marriage. It's important for you to implement the word of God on your prayer board. So writing scriptures on your prayer board is what solidifies it. That is like chef's kiss. You know, that just seals the deal. The word of God has so much power. And when you go to the envelope, you'll remember the promise that God said to each and every one of us because we wrote down the scriptures. So that will encourage you as well. And so for health, I wrote the scripture through um, thir three John verse. Well, chapter one, verse two, it says, dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is 
getting along well. And for healing, I wrote Psalm 147.3. It says, he heals the brokenhearted and he binds up their wounds. For marriage, I added the scripture, Matthew chapter 19, verse 6, and it says, So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Because I'm believing in God for marriage. I didn't have to put boyfriend there because that ain't going to be long. I'm dating with purpose. So whoever I'm dating is my husband. And I added friendship. That's important to pray over your friends and pray for the friends that you want. If you feel like you don't have a friend group that you want to do like things like this with or friends that you want to pray with and you really you really want that every girl deserves that like especially I know if, if you're transitioning out of living a certain lifestyle you came to Christ so I know how hard it is when it comes to transitioning because not everybody transitions with you so praying for the friends that you want okay and praying for the ones that you you have because everybody needs to just experience having a relationship, a real relationship with Jesus Christ. So for friendship, I, I added the verse, 1 Thess Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up. I love that. And I added goals and I um the verse that I use is Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 it says commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established let me read that again commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established notice that I even separated each category but like they all are aligned. So I have finances, goals, business, and purpose. And you're like, well, isn't your finances tied to your business? No, it's not because many times you can be successful, you can make a lot of money, but if you have poor money management, it'll go to waste. It'll, it'll be like you have a hole in your pocket. So under finances, I would put in my note card, God, help me to be a good steward over my money. Help me to budget. Help me not to spend money friv frivolously. Help me to have self-control and discipline when it comes to money. So that's important. And under finances, I added the verse, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. It says, the blessings of the Lord makes a person rich and he adds no sorrow with it. So that's under finances because my blessings is not going to come with no sorrow because a lot of times I'm just going to be real. Can I be real with you? I have seen money, right? And it just leaves my account and I don't know where it went. And then I'm praying to God, God for a financial blessing. That cycle ends because we cannot keep repeating the same cycles, especially when it comes to finances, finances and relationships. We cannot stay stuck. We have to use wisdom. So that's why I added Proverbs. Because, you know, Proverbs is the book of what? Wisdom. And for my business, I added the verse Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. But remember, the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. And so confirms his covenant, which he swore to your ancestors as it is today listen one thing about god that i know 100 percent that he honors covenant so if i am in covenant with god and he says in his word that it is he who gives me the ability to produce wealth so that is all of our portion because it's in his word and what is god not god is not a man that he shall lie and his word shall come to pass because it never goes out void. It never goes out and not plant and grow. Because the word of God is what? A seed. A seed that always grows. It never returns void. Never returns void. So, let's go down the list again. I have health, healing. You may be thinking, why do you have health and healing? Because healing... It's not just about my health, but my internal health, my mental health. Healing is 
healing from brokenness or healing. I'm giving you an example. Healing from brokenness, healing from a broken heart, healing from the past. Help me to forgive those who I probably hold in my heart. What offense that I may have against somebody. That's why I will put healing, supernatural healing. So that's why I have it separate from health. Health is actually my health. I'm healthy. I want to be healthy. I don't want to be sick ever again. I'm recovering. I'm recovering right now. But I'm healed by the blood of Jesus because by his stripes I am healed. And I confess that every single day. By your stripes I am healed. And I believe that to be so. I have health, healing, and identity. And when it comes to identity, I have the verse Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. It says, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. So if God created me, I am made in his image. There's nothing that I cannot do. If that is a part of my identity, I cannot get tricked up by the plot of the enemy. Like, sometimes you don't feel your best. Sometimes you second guess yourself. But if I know who I am and whose I am, that will be my prayer. That's why it was important for me to add identity because I don't ever want to forget my identity. Not who I think I am, but who Christ has already declared me to be. Who God already told me who I am in the word. And then I have prayer requests. And then I have marriage, family, friendship. I'm going to go to this last. Finances, goals, business, purpose, and then answered prayers. And last but not least, my favorite one, love letters to God. This one I had to write because I'm a person that loves to journal. And in one of my journals, instead of asking God for anything, I would just worship him in my letters. Like, dear God, and I love you. You're so amazing. And I would just say things like that. And I feel like that's love letters to God. And giving him praise and worshiping him. So that's really what the love letter to God is. And I use the Bible verse, Mark chapter 12 verse 30 it says you must love the lord your god with all your heart all your soul all your mind and all of your strength love letters to god so this is my prayer board oh and i can't forget i would suggest everybody adds this but it's completely up to you it's your preference at the end of the day but i thought this was very cute and very prophetic for me to add this on my board i actually added mustard seeds because all it takes is for you to have faith as little as a mustard seed. That's what Jesus said. And I want you to be visual when it comes to your prayer board. Because we're opting out of the same old vision board. You know, we're adding prayer into it. So, with that being said, if you see how small these... If you notice how small the actual mustard seeds are, you would then realize, this is, this is how much faith I have to have. One of these, this is all it takes. It's, that's all it takes is for me to have faith as little as a mustard seed and you can say to the mountain move and it will move that's how let me show y'all again this is how small a mustard seed is and I just put it on some tape and it actually sticks very well faith as small as a mustard seed so be very prophetic when you're adding things to your board. Just don't add things just for the look. Be very purposeful and intentional about what you add to your prayer board. Like this balloon, for instance. Yeah, it's cute, right? I like it because it's the color pink, but I was very prophetic when I added it and I added hope. And to me, it's like, it's never ending. It's stretching, it grows bigger. My hope, my faith will only grow. So that's why I added it. So be very intentional about everything that you add on your prayer board. I can't wait to see all of your prayer boards. Don't forget to tag me. Please don't forget to tag me. Tag me on each and every one. The answer prayer envelope is very important because at the end of the year, you can look through this and you can actually, without you don't even have to take out the actual prayers. You can because I wrote multiple prayers on the note cards. So... It may be one line that be that will be answered and not the rest. So I'll just write another index card in here and I'll just put it. So at the end of the year, I can see how much of my prayers have been answered. And I'm believing that all, all that's according to his will, in alignment with his will for me. 
Okay. So I know a question that some of you may have is, what do I actually write on the note cards? You write your prayers on the note cards. And do not worry about, I don't know how to pray. Just speak what you want to see. God, I pray. Father God, I'm asking you. That just start off like that. Like, it don't complicate it. This is between you and God. And that's why I say it's important for you to pray and spend some quiet time with God before even um, attempting to create a prayer board. Because this is not just about you gaining materialistic things or you're accomplishing certain goals. But this is about direct communication to God. God will tell you exactly what you need to put on this board. Exactly what's going to try to come against you. And who you need to actually be putting in on your prayer board. This is not just for you, but this is for every person connected to you. See, you know, the vision board is kind of like, the only person I had on there was my mama. Like things that I wanted to buy her. Everybody else was kind of left out. So it was just about me and her, you know. But this, I feel like, is a lot more sentimental. I don't even know if that's the right word I want to use. But it's a lot more intentional. That, that, that I can say. You write the prayer based on the actual envelope, the category of the envelope. And you put it inside the envelope. For instance, my prayer for marriage will go or anything about relationships with the opposite sex will go under marriage any relationship concerns that i have like with my friends or gaining new friendships healthy friendships it will go into uh, into the friendship envelope you get it and next do i keep checking back no you do not keep checking back because then it's just like where is your faith that means you're anxious. You're you're keep you keep checking back on the thing that you already prayed to God about. Listen, just relax and do the work that is needed of you for this to come to pass. Because faith without works is what? Dead. So you write the prayer, you believe that it's gonna come to pass, and then you do the work. You go out and you do the work. And um let me just add this in here. Just because you wrote it down on the prayer board that doesn't mean you stop praying that doesn't mean that you don't spend intimate time with god this is this you praying for your 2024 okay the next year you're praying for a lot so i don't want you to close your mouth to god continue to pray because prayer is powerful and it's your direct communication with the father can i add to it throughout the year yes you can add a note card you can add prayers throughout the year it, yeah be you're more than welcome to add to it because you don't know who may need a prayer request you don't know what new friends come into your life and you may want to pray over that friend you're gonna put that person into your friendship envelope you know what i'm saying yeah you can add as much as you want throughout the year what is the purpose of this the purpose behind the prayer board for me is this is my vision. This is what I want to come to pass. And I broke it down in categories because I want to be very intentional. And I want to implement God. Like I cannot do anything outside of God. And I don't want to do anything outside of his will for my life. So that's why I opted out in doing a prayer board. Because I know I understand how powerful prayer is. There's nothing more powerful than prayer. Especially when you implement God in the things that you do. The things that you want to accomplish. Listen. God is a, a blesser. He loves to bless us. Okay? And he loves to teach us things about ourselves so we won't fall into the traps of the enemy. So it's not just about blessings, but it's about having the fruits of the spirit, which you can find in the word. It's about having the fruits of the spirit, having self-control, being disciplined, having the spirit of humility, all of those things. So that's why... I, I felt like this is way better and beneficial to my life to create. And don't get me wrong, you can also create a vision board if you if you are a visual person and that helps you. You can do that and, that, and if that motivates you, you can do that. But I, I'm telling you, this is a just a game changer. Where should I put my prayer board? Okay, now this is a big one. When it comes to your prayer board, this is not something that should be accessible, especially to other people. Um, if you're, if you don't live alone or if you have in and out, people coming in and out of your home, you want to put this somewhere that is kind of hidden. So as for me, I, I don't, 
I don't really have people coming over my house, but if they do, I put it behind this door. So if this door is closed, then nine out of 10, no one is coming into my room. And if this door is open, you can no longer see my prayer board. So it is hidden from anyone from seeing it. And even if they do see it, they'll just be inspired to create one because they can't see exactly what's on the inside, what my prayers are. They can only see the scriptures and everybody needs to read some scriptures, honey. Okay, so that's why I opted out in doing the actual envelopes instead of just writing them out on postcards or no cards and leaving it out in the open. Because this is between me and God and nobody else. Okay. And this should be between you and God and nobody else. Should I still do a vision board? Like I said, you can do a vision board if you're a visual person and if you feel like that motivates you or that's just something that you're just so used to doing is a fun activity between you and your friends to do at the end of the year, you're more than welcome. But definitely implement the prayer board because listen, we're gonna need to increase our prayer life in 2024. Because there's some things that God wants to give us, but until we tap into him and his word and who he called us to be, we won't ever get those things because God is a God of order and he would never give you anything too soon. So that's why you have to stay connected and you have to stay connected through his word. And this will be like a reminder to you, even if you don't go back and read the envelopes, which I don't suggest because you don't want to be anxious about anything and know that God is going to take care of everything. But you'll be encouraged by the scriptures that you actually write. You come into agreement with it. So you can glance back at it and just remember what God said about marriage. Remember what God said about your health. Remember what the word says about healing, friendships, family, your business, and your purpose. So you'll be encouraged when you read. You have to implement scripture. That's the whole part of it being a prayer board. Not just your words, but the word of God. This is all you will need to create your prayer board. Gather some friends, hang out with your girlfriends, your guy friends, make it a cute thing to do. Make it a fun thing to do with your friends. Listen, everybody needs to create this and this will just bond y'all closer together. Cause friends that pray together, stay together. Iron sharpens iron. Remember that. Thank you for tuning in. It's your girl, Vanessa Elaine. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I have a lot more things in store for you to glow up in this new year and how to stay connected to God and to tap into who God has called you to be. So do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with all of your girlfriends. See you next time. Bye. And don't forget to tag me in your prayer board pictures. I want to see them. Don't be stingy. <laughs> Bye.